everybody, Nick from Sweetwater here, NAM 2023, hanging out with Jeff from Chauvet DJ. We have a very cool little sneak preview of something, right? Absolutely. Take us through it, will you? Absolutely. Thanks for being here. This is the ILS command. Now, what most people know by now is that ILS stands for Integrated Lighting System, and it's a cutting-edge technology that allows users to create coordinated, synchronized light shows between fixtures that are different types without using any DMX at all. So for people who are not interested or don't have the time to learn about DMX programming, this is a way to simulate those looks without it at all. And it's all completely wireless. Previously, that unit up there, the Gig Bar Move Plus ILS, was the brains of the, I, of the ILS ecosystem. So what we're looking at here is all of these are ILS compatible fixtures that are being controlled from one single source. Now the gig bar move is still the brains of the operation, but what we did is we took those brains and we replicated them into an outboard hardware controller. And that's the ILS command. And this thing is lightweight, it's compact, and now you can control a whole universe of lighting without DMX from something like the ILS command. And at its simplest form here, what it's doing is it's sending wireless commands to units that are plugged into the back of these ILS fixtures, and it's sending commands. So for instance, if I was just to hit the red button, I could make everything red in the, in the rig. And same with green, blue, I can do things like I have manual master dimmers, I can take the whole thing out, bring it back, I can do a blinder effect just with the touch of a button. And I can also customize the look so I can take all of the fixtures out that I don't want to have even on and I can bring them back one by one. A good example of this is you may not want all of these things flashing and blinking all at the same time. You may just want a simple color wash, in which case I can just select something like the PARS and I can then uh, select what color I want the PARS to make. Now I have a nice color wash. And then I can slowly add effects back in if the dance floor starts to open up, for instance, and I can start to add lasers and strobes and derby effects, and I can bring back the moving heads. And so I can, I can bring them all back, and then I can also freeze things as well. With this freeze button, it's really a cool feature because it stops the movement of everything. So what happens is, again, I can take the laser out, and if, if, for instance, if something is giving a speech or something like that, we don't want all that frenetic movement, that's also a great feature. So the, the list is long and deep and distinguished of things this thing can do, but the, 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 the basic thing is great coordinated synced light shows without DMX, and you have presets that you can store and recall, so it's very functional and very flexible. That's very exciting. And for someone that's, I'm very, I'm like a newbie at lights, I've tried a few things, and programming a light show is a lot to learn. So the fact that you don't have to get in and learn that programming language and you could just kind of use it with your hands in a little spot like this is very neat. That's exactly the point. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Of Best of luck for the rest of the show. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.